So what if you guys do this? What do you mean by spirit of money? Um, money is actually more than just physical representation because there's been so, so many thoughts, so many um, things, so many relationships all surrounding money that it actually is, you can treat it as something like a, an energy field. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? So it's it's not just it's not just money. There is energy behind it. There is a particular energy behind the money. There's um, a whole set of thought forms all connected with money. So it's it's like it has its own field. So it's you can treat it as a a spirit, as an entity, or as an elemental, like whatever words that you, you, you want to put it, it is really, um, it has a life of its own. That's what I'm trying to convey. In the first part, uh, I just felt like my earliest memory of money was uh, counting coins. Because my dad had a business, and my mom had a business, and so they would count the notes, and I would pile up all the coins of different categories and you know, put them in tens, so easy up to count up. That's what I remember. So, okay. At that, that time, there was no personal thing connection with it. It was just something. That was the first idea of money like came into our head. Mm -hmm. The second part, I was just, I was struggling to find that. Uh, the only thing is that money can buy the seeds to grow the crops on the earth. And the earth nature is it. Okay, great. Oh, Anyone else? So I felt peace. I mean, nothing else but peace. Like um, quiet. First part or second part? Both. I almost fell in sleep. So it's like no emotions about money. What does it mean? Okay. Um. But it might be wrong um, impression because I'm tired today. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm. Okay. Are we going to be a recording or you just forgot to switch that off? I, yeah, I'm, I'm recording right now. Oh, you're recording. Okay. Yes. Um, so I'm going to share what I felt. Um, I'm, not, I'm not saying that it's um, right or wrong, because there's no right or wrong answer to this. It's, it's what comes up for you. So um, when I, so for the first half, um, just connecting with the, 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 the spirit of money, and I... several things that comes up for me. Um, there are things um, in, like I, I see there are particular um, things that I've lived through. They just, those, those past experience came up. And then also I actually felt an tightness in my body. So I felt this, this tightness in my body for the first half. And for the, 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 the second half, 
um, what I felt like once I connect with the organic matrix, I actually felt kind of this cocoon around me. It's like I feel the support, I feel the love of Mother Earth. And I actually, when I connect with the, the, the spirit of money that is within the fifth dimension organic matrix, I just felt um, love, support, and it's, it's, I think most overwhelmingly it's really support is what I felt. Support, support, support. So that's my experience of it. Um, so what to do with, with this, this whole exercise is whatever comes up, if something comes up, then, um, and you feel that it's something that is kind of hampering your, the way that you can enjoy money, because money is really resources is really our ability to create whatever we want to experience in this reality if anything that came up it feels like it's something it's it's a reminder of um a blockage then do some work to release those blockage so that's that's really part of this so this is kind of the, the, the first part of it. And the next part, according to what Emilia Benz has, is really to talk to, because the first one is connecting with, the first half is connecting with money. And then the next one is really to allow money to come into your energy field. And uh, I'm, I don't know, not everybody would feel something or not everybody is going to um, have emotions coming up in these. So I actually um, <clears throat> prepared something else as well. So I want to start to share the next one. The this part of this exercise is really to um, when you connect with money is to allow any anything that is that can be thought of as a blockage to come up for you to release. And if somehow nothing turned up, then there is another way that you can kind of smoke these um, patterns out. So this is what I would suggest that you can do if you <clears throat> if nothing really um nothing that really comes up to suggest and give you an idea to what it is that you need to let go of and release regarding your money patterns then this is what I would suggest you to do as well is to really imagine that you're preparing for a meeting with the most powerful magician in the universe and that this magician has the ability to dissolve all of your money patterns, all the money patterns that you don't want. This magician can and will do it for you, but you have to be prepared because you only get it one chance with this, to meet with this magician. He is... Um, such in demand so <clears throat> so write out all the money patterns that you want to get rid of and for each pattern write out all the details um, give examples write out um, like what happened and with this pattern that is causing you problems what emotions come up, what thoughts you have associated with it, and who else in your family may have something similar, because once you clear that, it actually cleared up for that family member as well. So any detail that you can possibly <clears throat> think of, prepare that. So do this preparation. Any questions? So 
I don't understand about patterns. What kind of patterns do I have? Like, for example, I losing, I losing and losing money. Uh, for example, um, let's say you can't seem to get enough clients. And if that is a pattern, then that is a pattern. Then you will want to mention that pattern. Okay. Let's say you, um, like if you charge, let's say $10 for something, you get X amount of clients. But if you charge more, let's say $20, then you get less clients. So is that the pattern that you want to get rid of or not? Mm -hmm. So so that's what I mean by client uh, uh, pattern. So let's say you can only earn, like there's if there's a ceiling to what you can earn, then are you okay with that? Or you want to get rid of that? You want to get rid of that ceiling. So that's what I mean by pattern. Or let's okay. say you have to work hard for in order to make a certain amount of money like are you okay with that or do you want to not work so hard but still be able to live comfortably yes so, exactly. so let's say if you feel tired at the end of the day completely drained um is that okay with you or you want to still have energy left over at the end of the day so that's what I mean by pattern. So you would notice, because all of this is about, it's it's about your relationship with money. So notice all of that, so. Okay, thank you. Now I understand. Okay, so just, and this magician does exist. I assure you. So prepare, but you have to prepare for the meeting. So everything. That Should you we write down now? We're gonna write um, it down? Not right now, that's homework. Oh, okay. That's homework. So that's homework. So, okay. So for each pattern, so, so just um, be more organized. So for each pattern, make sure you have all the details. Um, <clears throat> so depending on how big the pattern is, you may want to have each pattern in a separate piece of paper. Or if you want to, you can actually have, you know, photographs. If, if you know, if you, let's say you want to live in a better house, then you may want to, to uh, you know, take photo photographs of the the place that you live in right now and you sing and and show that okay yeah what do you want you want your place to look different how so any details that you can think of so put each pattern that you want to get rid of in one place um just clip it all together in one in one pile and so you have you know you may have more than one so have all of those so how do you get rid of it okay so what i suggest we can do because you are that magician you are that powerful each and every one of you are that powerful it is just that you didn't believe it you didn't know how powerful you are and actually you are very powerful. So when you have gathered all your thoughts, yeah, when you have all that evidence, what you do is put it all in um, a box. And it could be a shoe box, could be a box that you bought specifically for that, or it could be um, you know, something that is an empty box from a parcel or anything. So just put it in one box or envelope, whichever works for you. So whenever you have maybe about 30 minutes, just look in that pile. So for so do it one pattern at a time. Simply connect with that pattern. And just start to give um, 
just start to breathe in and breathe out and have the intention that you want to get rid of that pattern from you, from your energy field. And you may want to actually connect with um, where that, um, that pattern may be in your body. Sometimes you may feel it. Sometimes you may feel that, oh, it's my neck, my throat, or my kidney, right kidney, left kidney, or your foot. There may be a part of your body that it is connected to or not. You may get an, an inkling of it or not. So just ask and see if you find it. And then when you connect with that energy, just let your body know that you are ready to let go of it and just breathe through it. Are we gonna do that next time? The process? We can. Are you suggesting we do? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, we'll see. <laughs> Thank you. We will see. <clears throat> how, how it goes thank you so this is what i so this is what i suggest that you can do because energy goes where your attention um, goes to so when your attention and your intention is to let go of it your body may not respond the first few times because You've been running this pattern so many times, so many times, and your, your body is like, oh, this person, no, Winnie likes this pattern. For example, Winnie likes to get anxious about paying rent. So let me, like every time the, the first of the month, let me just give her more um, anxiety. So, however, if you start to set the intention that you want to let go of the anxiety you want to clear that pattern then the first time yeah your body's like eh she's just kidding she's not serious the second time mm, maybe third time okay it's perhaps she's a little bit more serious this time but if you spend your time your intention and attention on letting go of this pattern then at some point your body would start to get it. Oh, she's done with this. I thought she'd never be done with this. So at some point that is going to start to leave. The energy will start to leave. And also you want to do the other part of the, the exercise is really to connect with the, the organic matrix. The more you connect with the organic matrix the organic matrix is actually it's about connection is about support it's about giving you all the resources that you have so when you do that then um the two kind of go hand in hand you let go of old patterns and you also start to call in the organic matrix because when you let go of the old then the new things can start to come into your energy field so i also have this pattern you know to worry how i gonna pay my bills and rent so if i'm gonna letting go of this pattern it's mean i'm gonna get more money eventually yes there's um <clears throat> of course there's there's more to it um so i just want to talk about reconnecting with the the spirit of money clearing out the inverted matrix version of your relationship to money and also when you connect with the organic matrix as well, that's when the um, organic matrix pattern of support will start to come in and take place of it. 
how you connect to organic matrix you just call organic matrix yeah you connect did you feel any difference when you connect to organic matrix no okay um I think you need to clear more because it's it, like it's a clear disconnection. What? It's a disconnection. So disconnection. Clear what? Clear the disconnection. Mm. Clear the disconnection and really allow yourself to feel that connection. And also make sure you're in your body as well. Okay. Thank you. Because, um, yeah, you make that's why, um, first of all, it's really to connect with yourself. So make sure you're in your body. When you're in your body, you can feel, you can actually feel the support from Mother Earth. It's very different when you are, when your intention is to connect with the 3D matrix versus being connected to the 5D matrix. It's a very different um, energy. So the organic 5D, to be more specific about that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Feel that experience between the two. Okay. Thanks. Any, any other uh, questions? There is one more thing I want to talk about before we go into the, the um, um, before we go into the final meditation. One more thing is it's not just so so you so um, you mentioned that you know does that mean that I'm going to get the the money when I clear that? There's also one. Excuse me, I need to. Okay, thank you. So there's one more thing is really because money doesn't just come to us through jobs, through the job, because um, it can come to us through so many things, especially if we like for people that are not um, that are working for ourselves. Like if, if you don't have a, a nine to five kind of jobs, if you are more uh, working for yourself, then you're, it's not just reconnecting with the energy of money. You also have to reconnect with the human collective. Why? Because the spirit of money is not just about money. Money is not just about money. Money is actually support. Do you feel supported? You have to ask yourself this. Do you feel supported by your family members? Do you feel supported by the human collective? So most of the time, we don't feel that we are supported by our families because of this... Um, 3D inverted matrix. It's about this connection. So even within the family, there's a lot of um, disagreements, disconnection within the family. So imagine beyond the family, when we all come from so different um, backgrounds, it's not easy to feel that support. It's hard enough with family, but to feel the support from people that are outside of the family or to something that is as um, gen uh, generic as the human collective. However, what the human collective represents is really support. It's not just money support, it's emotional support. Um, it's also when other people support your ideas, they may not be able to give you money however they know they may know someone who have the resources to be able to help you so i want to give you the the um 
example of Melinda. So, um, so Franco's daughter. Um, she, I think, uh, if if you listen to her um, recent recording that that was just done this Sunday, that she was talking about how she actually manifested this the school that she that just started this September. She had this idea for 10 years and she's been working bit by bit. And um, a year ago, like, like she was really um, getting things kind of lined up. And, and I think it was like, she got the, the location of the, the school just three weeks before the school was supposed to start, before September when the, the, all the, the children are starting to come. So she didn't build it herself. She didn't um, come up with it, but it is the support from the, the community, from all the people who actually wanted that school and also other people from the human collective um, and also from the help from Franco on the other side of the veil that really helped her to connect with people that actually was able to secure a location and also renovate a place for her to have that school. So that's why being connected to the human collective or feel that connection and support from the human collective is so important because these are resources. The, the, um, the person next to you may not have the money, but they may know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody that actually wanted to fund the, in order to have the experience that you actually are aligned with to co-create together as well. So that's why when we feel disconnected, even with our own family members, and especially when we feel so, there's so much, uh, uh, the last couple of years, there's been so much division. That's why um, like the, the inverted matrix is about disconnection because when we are disconnected, we actually are not supported, energetically not supported. So when we start to connect to the human collective, we actually, connected to more than money. It's the spirit of money is actually about um, resources, not, in, not just in monetary terms, but in connection, but in ideas and all of those other things that make things happen so that we can co-create a shared reality as if that could be a school that all the other students that actually lined up with wanting to go to a school that teaches them way beyond what the, um, the, the system um, right now, the school system is able to um, provide for these, for these children. So that's what the, that what, that is what's missing. Is that it's not just about connecting with the with money. It's not just that. It's also connecting to the human collective, because these connections they provide another level of resources, another level of energy that is going to supplement what just money itself can do. I think that really is the 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 missing the missing link about abundance is not just about money. It's way more than that. It's, it's the the feeling that we are supported. And and even though the Pleiadians showed me what the spirit of money was two years ago, but I, I couldn't connect with it because I was really still very disconnected from the, 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 the human collective. I really feel like I am an outsider. 
And it really took all of that um, letting go and also all, all the, the, the upgrades that I started to come to really know that it's, it's, it's not just about money. It's also about connection, feeling supported. And that is what we um, are missing in the money conversation. That's all I want to add to this. Thank you, Vinny. And uh, I actually didn't cover as much as I would like to cover today. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I think um, in, so I'm just going to stop here. It and, makes me think of, um, you know, yeah. when farmers have, um, they have to build a barn or when somebody's sick, when a farmer is sick, their neighbors will come and, and, and bring all their resources to their farm and will, you know, apply all the resources to this one person's farm so that, you know, they can be carried, you know, at a time when they need help. That's what it makes me think of in terms of that collective support, sort of. And what is being attacked in the last two years? connection yeah we have we want we were really encouraged and all the fear porn was just telling us that you know if we get close to if we stand you know closer than six feet we're gonna get <laughs> we're gonna get a virus that can kill us so yeah don't go visit your family don't go visit your neighbors don't you know just don't just you know yeah feel for your life don't get close yeah i remember oh, going, yeah. going to that little little group that i belonged to the first time and we met in somebody's apartment and the first thing they did was okay we're gonna hug now and that was a difficult time after you know we had to break that fear of each other but that was the best thing they did was to, you know, to ask us to hug each other. Yeah. And, and it was, then it was family. <laughs> then it became family. Yeah. Yeah. So connection. That's why there's so much division. Um, there's been so much talking about, you know, Black Lives Matter, White Lives Matter. It's all the same. It's really playing one group against the other. It's division. Yeah. Is this connection? So, if this, if they are piping up this connection, then you know that the opposite is really the cure. Uh, yeah, yeah. So connection. When you are connected, when you actually feel the support, then that's what abundance truly is. It's not just about money. Money is just the tip of the iceberg. So, so let's uh, let's do our final um, meditation. Let's connect. Let's really connect with ourselves, with one another, with Mother Earth, with the human collective. <laughs> 